Hey y'all, it's Todd again. Today I've got a different episode for you. I'm starting a series on the JS framework Svelte. This episode is going to really be about getting started with Svelte. What is it? What is it meant to do? And how do we just sort of bootstrap an initial project? So that's what we're doing today. Here we go. All right, so Svelte basically asks a very different kind of question, which is instead of your framework being something that loads in the browser and then runs your app, what if instead your framework was a compiler that outputs your app and then when your app runs in the browser, it's just running JavaScript? And that is the fundamental paradigm that sort of underpins Svelte. Before we dive deeper into that, let's just get started like I said we would at the top. So the first thing we need to do is create a project. And to do that, I'm going to go into my terminal. And we're going to do npx dget svelte.js slash template. And then whatever your project is. So we'll say my first svelte project. And let's talk through this through for a second. So dget is, and I don't know if it's dget or deget. I've done a little bit of research on this and I can't get a straight answer. But dget is a project by Rich Harris. And this is important because Rich Harris is the creator of Svelte. And so he wrote this package called dget. And it basically goes out and grabs the latest commit of a git repo. And Rich himself has described this as sort of the Create React app of Svelte. So it's basically the Create Svelte app. So we'll run this. And notice we're using NPX as opposed to NPM. Um, if anybody's not familiar with that, NPX is a really cool tool that Cat at NPM created a few years ago that keeps you from having to install global dependencies. So you just use NPX and we don't have to do all that global install stuff. And we see it ran very quickly and created that project. So now let's go to it and we'll do code dot and this will launch Visual Studio Code in that project. And now let's take a look at what's in the project. So we see that there's a rollup config, rollup if you're not familiar with it is also another Rich Harris project. Uh, his fingerprints are all over this. Um, he's a very smart guy. And so there's a rollup config that we get in this template. And then there's just some basic sort of starter components. So there's the entry point of the Svelte app. This looks very similar to something like Vue um, and somewhat similar to React. And then we've got a Svelte component and we'll notice that there's no syntax highlighting. And Visual Studio popped up a little thing down here that said, hey, I don't know what a .svelte file is, but there might be an extension for it. And also note that Visual Studio Code did recognize that the Svelte extension has a particular icon that goes with it. So that's kind of nice. So the first thing we're gonna do is search the marketplace and We'll pull this Svelte extension by James Bertels. And the nice thing is that's going to give us syntax highlighting. So once we do that, now that's installed. So when we go back, we'll go to our Svelte component. And there we go. We've got syntax highlighting. And we've got these breadcrumbs that are really cool now in VS Code. And so this is our first Svelte component. If you come from something like Vue, um, this is very similar, um, except Vue has a template tag. But we've got our JavaScript, and we'll get to why there's an export here. We've got a style tag with our styling in there. So Svelte was written with CSS as sort of a first-class citizen. Um, Rich Harris has stated that you can use a CSS and JS library, but you don't really need to because 
there is first class support in, in the framework. And then we've got our markup that just kind of sits here. So let's just fire it up and see what happens. So we'll do npm i because we haven't installed our dependencies yet. And npm run dev. And before we bring up our little sample app here, let's take a look at what's going on. So as you see, when we run un npm run dev, let's take a look at the script. It runs this auto build script, which runs rollup, which is the module bundler. Rollup is a alternative to something like Webpack. And we're running it with the dash C flag, which means we're using a config file and the dash W flag, which means we want to watch for changes. And it's going to run at localhost 5000. And we'll see that live reload is enabled too. And also that it built a, a public slash bundle.js. So it took our app.svelte and our main.js and it created a bundle for us. And so if we go to localhost 5000, we see our app spins up. That purple color that's applied to the H1 is there. And this name is actually a prop from the entry point of the app. So if I put my name, it hot reloads for us. And so that's the basics of getting started with a Svelte application, kind of spinning it up. Hey y'all, Todd back with a quick recap. So let's talk about what we did. We talked very briefly about what Svelte is. We used dgit, which we said is sort of the create Svelte app of Svelte to create a project. We took a look at the basics of what a Svelte component looks like and what the project structure tends to be. And then we installed the Svelte extension in Visual Studio Code so we could get some syntax highlighting. And then lastly, we installed some dependencies and ran it. In the next episode, what we're gonna do is take a dive into actually writing some Svelte components. So we're gonna look at the syntax that Svelte expects. We're gonna look at some things like reactive declarations. We're gonna talk about props, just like in React and Vue. We're also gonna talk about each blocks and if blocks and some of the things that the Svelte team provides us out of the box. And then maybe we'll see where we go from there. So if you wanna make sure that you're notified when those lessons become available, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching everybody. Hey y'all, it's Todd again. Today I'm coming at you with a, <laughs> coming at you? Action. Hey y'all, it's Todd again. Today I'm coming at you, coming at you? <laughs> When do I ever say that? Action.